going beyond the expected. It's what they do at Pekin Insurance, and it's been their way of doing business since 1921. It's service that goes the extra mile, and product that provides the flexibility to meet all of today's insurance needs, and tomorrow's as well. Stop by and see the agents at North Wayne Insurance Agency in downtown Flora and Sisney. They will provide the financial protection and peace of mind that you need and deserve. North Wayne Insurance in Pekin, beyond the expected. Why are more people heating their homes with FS Propane? Because it's better to work with a company that lives and works in the same community that you do. This is Aaron Cummins, your local Clay County FS Propane Specialist with South Central FS. South Central is a nine-county cooperative with highly trained employees that are dedicated to providing our residential, commercial, and agricultural customers a safe and reliable propane supply. Contact your local South Central FS Propane Specialist or visit us online at southcentralfs.com.
Give me all your lumber. Doors, paint, windows, electrical, plumbing, and much more. Oh yeah, give me all your guns too. John Lucas. What? You better be dreaming about all the stuff we sell here at Zinc Building Center. Oh, I would. Zinc Building Center in Louisville on Route 45. It's a cool place. At your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville, you can count on experts to have the solutions to keep you running on the road or in the field. More than just your car, the Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville carry a large inventory of Napa products for farms, heavy trucks, and just about everything that moves. Experienced associates understand your needs and are ready to help with the perfect part at a great value. That's Napa Know How at your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville. My name is Robin Stanford. I own Stanford Marketing. It's a promotional products business along with an embroidery business. And we do custom hats, t-shirts, anything, you name it, we can make it. People like that we do stuff in-house and we can actually make things here and that we're not contracting the work out to other places. We never say no. We always try to find a way to do it. If anybody can do it, we can do it. We are hardworking women, that is for sure. Come to Stanford Marketing in Florida for all your custom and promotional needs. Briscoe Surplus Sales on the northeast edge of Flora is your one-stop do-it-all shop. Looking for rugged boots and footwear from great brands like Lacrosse, Rocky, and Carolina? They're there. How about top-notch small engine parts and service? Briscoe Surplus Sales has it. Whether you're wiring your switches or switching your wiring, Briscoe Surplus Sales has the solution and the know-how to help you get the job done right the first time. Briscoe Surplus Sales, your one-stop do-it-all shop. If you're looking for a loan for your brand new home, call Clay County State Bank. If you want to transfer money so your future will look sunny, call Clay County State Bank. We got checking and savings and bill pay too. In online banking, just ask a group. For all your banking needs, we think you will agree. Clay County State Bank is the place you need to be. Clay County State Bank. It's the weekend and your symptoms are worsening. The morning of a big meeting and you have a bigger sore throat. Ever experience that urgency after picking up your sick child and your community health center has already closed? You will be able to connect to a provider at crhpc.org. Even if you have never been to CRHPC, you are welcome to utilize our services. Feel better after scheduling a video visit with CRHPC. At Clay City Banking Company, we're all on the same team, regardless of zip code. At home, work, school, or across the country, you can be part of our team with our cutting-edge mobile banking products. From your hand, you can check balances, transfer money, make deposits, and pay bills. Looking for a loan? We've got you covered with our mortgage, agriculture, commercial, and consumer loans. Join our team today. Clay City, Floor, Louisville, and Fairfield Banking Companies. We're the hometown banks, member FDIC, and equal housing lender tomorrow. Some fear the uncertainty it brings. Some trust the promise it holds. At Grinnell Mutual, we are always looking forward to tomorrow, growing and innovating. So even if the plans you have for the future aren't the same as the plans that the future holds for you, you can be ready. Because we'll be ready, like we have been for over 100 years. Trust in that. Trust in tomorrow. Talk to your mutual agent today. Your local agent is on the square. Louisville Clay County Farmers Mutual Insurance. For service beyond the surface, call Carter Trucking in Fairfield. Carter's trucks are ready to haul your big freight and grain. So whatever you call Jeremy Carter, the mucho mucho man, the driveway doctor, the gravel guru, the pothole pirate, the rock and redneck, the smooth operator, the mud hole master, or the happy hauler, just call him. 842-2022 to haul your big freight, grain, and more with trucks from Carter Trucking, Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Having car trouble, need a tow, or just some routine maintenance? Butcher Automotive in Louisville has you covered. Locally owned and operated, Butcher Automotive offers complete vehicle repair services along with tire sales and wheel alignment. They're your local hand-cooked tire and interstate battery dealer. Butcher Automotive offers free local pickup and delivery so your car can be repaired while you're at work or at home. Butcher strives to treat everyone's vehicle as their own. At Butcher Automotive, they don't want you to give them your business. They want to earn it. 
For over 50 years at your locally owned and operated Roll King Supply in Salem and Olney, we've helped you and your neighbors enjoy an easy country lifestyle. We carry the most thorough sporting goods department around with a huge variety of hunting and fishing gear, camping equipment, and a variety of firearms for any need. Our team is here to help you find whatever you need. Open every day, it's Roll King in Salem and Olney, your locally owned farm and home store. Fashion is our passion at Carnaby Square. We specialize in customer service and have since 1980. Our multi-generational boutique features your favorite on-trend to classic famous maker fashions, footwear, accessories, and a massive inventory of Brighton. So come, relax, explore, and elevate your look with us. Everyone is welcome where we always wrap it, tag it, and bag it for free at Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield. In 1916, Warren Miller chose Auto Owners Insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who have put their trust in us, and to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Harrison Insurance in Louisville is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Do you bowl like this? That's great. Do you bowl like this? That's great too. That's because whether you're a pro or you just want to have a lot of fun, at Peggle's Silver Dollar Lanes, we have a lane for you. We have Galaxy Bowling, Gaming for Kids and Adults, Joe's Pizza, a full bar, darts, pool, and fresh and clean bowling shoes. Boy, does that smell nice. So come on down to Peggle Silver Dollar Lanes in Effingham, where we have a lane for you. Does your home show signs of foundation problems? Call the experts at Woods Basement Systems. Our power brace system can fix the problem permanently and help protect the value of your home. Call Woods Basement Systems today. Woods, the all things basementy experts. Mold, rank air, pests, all getting closer to inside your home. With a dirt crawl space, there's no telling what's below you. A sealed crawl space locks the nasty stuff out, plus can lower your utility bills. Woods, the all things basementy experts. It is all things new at Zimdar's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Appliance Repair. We have a new line of heating and cooling equipment and new technicians. Our new equipment line offers 24 months free financing and excellent warranty coverage. Our experienced service technicians can provide you with quality service and repairs on all brands of HVAC equipment. Zimdar's has been serving Clay County and the surrounding areas for over 23 years. The employees of Zimdar's are here to help, so call local and call Zimdar's. The insurance specialists have options to tailor to your needs at CSI Insurance Brokers. Experienced insurance brokers at CSI are skilled with all types of insurance plans and policies and represent many companies, including Safeco Insurance. You'll benefit from their detailed expertise, unbeatable premiums, and commitment to customer service. CSI Insurance Brokers and Safeco Insurance Company, providing affordable rates on quality insurance since 1952. We like technology at Flora Savings Bank. Here's what you can accomplish in our mobile banking app in less than 30 seconds. See account balances in your transactions, set up an account alert, make a transfer between accounts, get an alert text message about your transfer, pay a bill, turn your debit card off and then back on. It all happens in the palm of your hand with our free My Bank To Go app. Search My Bank To Go in the App Store or Google Play and give mobile banking a try. Flora Savings Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender.
Hospital is your life-saving connection. We have spent our lives preparing for when you need us. Quality professional care right at home. Our team will support you and your family so you never feel alone. We will make you feel welcome whether you need care, are visiting a loved one, or seeking employment. Clay County Hospital. Professional care. Compassionate hearts. Going beyond the expected. It's what they do at Pekin Insurance, and it's been their way of doing business since 1921. It's service that goes the extra mile, and product that provides the flexibility to meet all of today's insurance needs, and tomorrow's as well. Stop by and see the agents at North Wayne Insurance Agency in downtown Flora and Sisney. They will provide the financial protection and peace of mind that you need and deserve. North Wayne Insurance in Pekin, beyond the expected.
Why are more people heating their homes with FS Propane? Because it's better to work with a company that lives and works in the same community that you do. This is Aaron Cummins, your local Clay County FS Propane Specialist with South Central FS. South Central is a nine-county cooperative with highly trained employees that are dedicated to providing our residential, commercial, and agricultural customers a safe and reliable propane supply. Contact your local South Central FS Propane Specialist or visit us online at southcentralfs.com. paint, windows, electrical, plumbing, and much more. Oh yeah, give me all your guns too. John Lucas. What? You better be dreaming about all the stuff we sell here at Zinc Building Center. Oh, I would. Zinc Building Center in Louisville on Route 45. It's a cool place. At your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville, you can count on experts to have the solutions to keep you running on the road or in the field. More than just your car, the Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville carry a large inventory of Napa products for farms, heavy trucks, and just about everything that moves. Experienced associates understand your needs and are ready to help with the perfect part at a great value. That's Napa Know How at your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville.
My name is Robin Stanford. I own Stanford Marketing. It's a promotional products business along with an embroidery business. And we do custom hats, t-shirts, anything, you name it, we can make it. People like that we do stuff in-house and we can actually make things here and that we're not contracting the work out to other places. We never say no. We always try to find a way to do it. If anybody can do it, we can do it. We are hardworking women, that is for sure. Come to Stanford Marketing in Florida for all your custom and promotional needs. Briscoe Surplus Sales on the northeast edge of Flora is your one-stop do-it-all shop. Looking for rugged boots and footwear from great brands like Lacrosse, Rocky, and Carolina? They're there. How about top-notch, small engine parts and service? Briscoe Surplus Sales has it. Whether you're wiring your switches or switching your wiring, Briscoe Surplus Sales has the solution and the know-how to help you get the job done right the first time. Briscoe Surplus Sales, your one-stop do-it-all shop.
If you're looking for a loan for your brand new home, call Clay County State Bank. If you want to transfer money so your future will look sunny, call Clay County State Bank. We got checking and savings and bill pay too. In online banking, just ask a fee. For all your banking needs, we think you will agree. Clay County State Bank is the place you need to be. Clay County State Bank. It's the weekend and your symptoms are worsening. The morning of a big meeting and you have a bigger sore throat. Ever experience that urgency after picking up your sick child and your community health center has already closed? You will be able to connect to a provider at crhpc.org. Even if you have never been to CRHPC, you are... At Clay City Banking Company, we're all on the same team, regardless of zip code. 
at home, work, school, or across the country, you can be part of our team with our cutting edge mobile banking products. From your hand, you can check balances, transfer money, make deposits, and pay bills. Looking for a loan? We've got you covered with our mortgage, agriculture, commercial, and consumer loans. Join our team today. Play City, Floor, Louisville, and Fairfield Banking Companies. We're the hometown banks, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. Senior night festivities will uh, begin here in just a moment here at uh, Dietrich as they are going to honor senior cheerleaders as well as senior basketball players. And I don't know who all else, but we'll help the PA guy to let you know who is being honored as we appreciate you folks tuning in here to Wabash Catch TV. Dietrich just won the uh, JV contest, 43 to 34. Ending with a, a Blake Niemer layup. Uh, good to see uh, Blake Niemer out there. Yeah, he's a wonderful kid. Bud Irvin tonight. Bud has served as the announcer since the year 2000, and during that time he has announced a member of the uh, Dietrich Hall of Fame. Right here in this gym. We want to thank Bud for his dedication. His family's out on the court to meet him. That's real nice. There's the applause for Bud Irvin. Standing ovation. And now he's finally going to get up and head out there and meet his family. That's awful nice. Grandchild, how about that? Gets presented with a special basketball. What a nice deal. Member of the Dietrich Hall of Fame. Honored here tonight in his last game as the public address announcer for Dietrich High School Basketball. Congratulations. And now for the basketball, senior basketball and cheerleading honorees. By the way, they didn't tell Bud Irvin that the, this was happening tonight. Snuck the family in. And
what scores up through here while I've been sitting there. I always had the best seat. Uh, Chuck Baker, very good friend. Uh, we do a lot of talking about ball players in the past. Hard to get what he was for. Uh, six, ten guys, a little long came in here with a real good record. But he made him look bad. Once again, I can say a lot more, but thank you very much. Uh, I hope somebody steps There he is, Bud Irvin. Needed to have him talk to both sides of the audience because it's a packed house. The folks on the, uh, what would this be, the uh, east side or the, the west side of the gymnasium didn't get to see his face. As we'll now have the senior senior honorees announced they're having a little difficulty with the microphone from Potoka being honored as well. That's nice. Logan Haynes uh, getting a balloon and a basket. How about that? Evan Meyer now uh, being introduced. Cheerleader Madison Scarborough. And cheerleader Lexi Smith. I gotta tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure I have never seen a senior night activity where they honored seniors from both teams. That's really cool. Alanis, uh, well, I didn't catch the name. Hannah Smith. Hannah Smith. So uh, Madison Scarborough, Lexi Smith, Hannah Smith along with Logan Haynes and Evan Meyer from Potoka Odin. That's pretty cool to get a balloon and a gift. Nice deal. Now, I don't know what the players are going to do with it, or for that matter, the cheerleaders. Of the boys basketball cheerleading and dance teams, along with their parents. If you please turn your attention to the Northeast entrance. Our first senior is Pete Britton. First senior to be announced is Pete Britton. Of course, Britton, three-year starter on this squad, did not play his senior year due to an injury. Of course, he's a baseball player for many, many moons and starter on the squad there as well. Dane Curry. Dane unable to play tonight as he injured his ankle. Four-year basketball player. So he's out tonight as well. I was talking to uh, Coach Bonoff before the game. and. He said, well, 
You play with what you have as Aaron Davis. Talk about manager extraordinaire. Going to go to Ozark Christian College. So, congratulations to Mr. Davis. Morgan Esker going to attend Murray State. Callie Gephardt. Callie Gephardt. Next up is Colton Kidd. He'll be starting tonight. Six feet, five inches tall. Congratulations. Garrett Neberge. Gonna go play baseball in college. Good for Garrett. Cheerleader Laura Lighty. Good for her. Going to go to Eastern and become a teacher. <laughs> Elementary education. World needs more teachers. And it's a wonderful place to go. Brooklyn Winty. Going to get a degree in nursing. Congratulations. Wonderful for her. And finally, one remaining senior is Cole Will. Going to become an electrician. How about that? So, congratulations to all the Dietrich seniors being honored tonight. Folks, we're uh, going to take a quick break. We'll be back with the varsity contest for you. Oh, give us about 10 minutes, and uh, we'll be uh, we'll get all the pictures taken, get all the confetti off the floor, and, and uh, be ready for a varsity basketball here in just a little bit. We'll be back after these words. Tomorrow. Some fear the uncertainty it brings. Some trust the promise it holds. At Grinnell Mutual, we are always looking forward to tomorrow, growing and innovating. So even if the plans you have for the future aren't the same as the plans that the future holds for you, you can be ready. Because we'll be ready, like we have been for over 100 years. Trust in that. Trust in tomorrow. 
talk to your mutual agent today. Your local agent is on the square. Louisville Clay County Farmers Mutual Insurance. For service beyond the surface, call Carter Trucking in Fairfield. Carter's trucks are ready to haul your big freight and grain. So whatever you call Jeremy Carter, the mucho mucho man, the driveway doctor, the gravel guru, the pothole pirate, the rock and redneck, the smooth operator, the mud hole master, or the happy hauler, just call him. 842-2022 to haul your big freight, grain, and more with trucks from Carter Trucking. Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Having car trouble, need a tow, or just some routine maintenance? Butcher Automotive in Louisville has you covered. Locally owned and operated, Butcher Automotive offers complete vehicle repair services along with tire sales and a wheel alignment. They're your local hand-cooked tire and interstate battery dealer. Butcher Automotive offers free local pickup and delivery so your car can be repaired while you're at work or at home. Butcher strives to treat everyone's vehicle as their own. At Butcher Automotive, they don't want you to give them your business. They want to earn it. For over 50 years, at your locally owned and operated Roll King Supply in Salem and Only, we've helped you and your neighbors enjoy an easy country lifestyle. We carry the most thorough sporting goods department around with a huge variety of hunting and fishing gear, camping equipment, and a variety of firearms for any need. Our team is here to help you find whatever you need. Open every day, it's Roll King in Salem and Only, your locally owned farm and home store. Fashion is our passion at Carnaby Square. We specialize in customer service and have since 1980. Our multi-generational boutique features your favorite on-trend to classic famous maker fashions, footwear, accessories, and a massive inventory of Brighton. So come, relax, explore, and elevate your look with us. Everyone is welcome where we always wrap it, tag it, and bag it for free at Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield. In 1916, Warren Miller chose Auto Owners Insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who have put their trust in us, and to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Harrison Insurance in Louisville is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Do you bowl like this? That's great. Do you bowl like this? That's great too. That's because whether you're a pro or you just want to have a lot of fun, at Peggle's Silver Dollar Lanes, we have a lane for you. We have Galaxy Bowling, gaming for kids and adults, Joe's Pizza, a full bar, darts, pool, and fresh and clean bowling shoes. Boy, does that smell nice. So come on down to Peggle Silver Dollar Lanes in Effingham, where we have a lane for you. Does your home show signs of foundation problems? Call the experts at Woods Basement Systems. Our Power Brace system can fix the problem permanently and help protect the value of your home. Call Woods Basement Systems today. Woods, the all things basementy experts. Mold, rank air, pests, all getting closer to inside your home. With a dirt crawl space, there's no telling what's below you. A sealed crawl space locks the nasty stuff out, plus can lower your utility bills. Woods, the all things basementy experts. It is all things new at Zimdar's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Appliance Repair. We have a new line of heating and cooling equipment and new technicians. Our new equipment line offers 24 months free financing and excellent warranty coverage. Our experienced service technicians can provide you with quality service and repairs on all brands of HVAC equipment. Zimdar's has been serving Clay County and the surrounding areas for over 23 years. The employees of Zimdar's are here to help, so call local and call Zimdar's. The insurance specialists have options to tailor to your needs at CSI Insurance Brokers. Experienced insurance brokers at CSI are skilled with all types of insurance plans and policies and represent many companies, including Safeco Insurance. You'll benefit from their detailed expertise, unbeatable premiums, and commitment to customer service. CSI Insurance Brokers and Safeco Insurance Company, providing affordable rates on quality insurance since 1952.
We like technology at Flora Savings Bank. Here's what you can accomplish in our mobile banking app in less than 30 seconds. See account balances in your transactions, set up an account alert, make a transfer between accounts, get an alert text message about your transfer, pay a bill, turn your debit card off and then back on. It all happens in the palm of your hand with our free My Bank To Go app. Search My Bank To Go in the App Store or Google Play and give mobile banking a try. Flora Savings Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Clay County Hospital is your life-saving connection. We have spent our lives preparing for when you need us. Quality professional care right at home. Our team will support you and your family so you never feel alone. We will make you feel welcome whether you need care, are visiting a loved one, or seeking employment. Clay County Hospital. Professional care, compassionate hearts. Going beyond the expected. It's what they do at Pekin Insurance, and it's been their way of doing business since 1921. It's service that goes the extra mile, and product that provides the flexibility to meet all of today's insurance needs, and tomorrow's as well. Stop by and see the agents at North Wayne Insurance Agency in downtown Flora and Sisney. They will provide the financial protection and peace of mind that you need and deserve. North Wayne Insurance in Pekin, beyond the expected. Why are more people heating their homes with FS Propane? Because it's better to work with a company that lives and works in the same community that you do. This is Aaron Cummins, your local Clay County FS Propane Specialist with South Central FS. South Central is a nine-county cooperative with highly trained employees that are dedicated to providing our residential, commercial, and agricultural customers a safe and reliable propane supply. Contact your local South Central FS Propane Specialist or visit us online at southcentralfs.com. Doors, paint, windows, electrical, plumbing, and much more. Oh yeah, give me all your guns too. John Lucas. What? You better be dreaming about all the stuff we sell here at Zinc Building Center. Oh, I would. Zinc Building Center in Roosevelt on Route 45. It's a cool place. At your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville, you can count on experts to have the solutions to keep you running on the road or in the field. More than just your car, the Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville carry a large inventory of Napa products for farms, heavy trucks, and just about everything that moves. Experienced associates understand your needs and are ready to help with the perfect part at a great value. That's Napa know-how at your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville. My name is Robin Stanford. I own Stanford Marketing. It's a promotional products business along with an embroidery business. And we do custom hats, t-shirts, anything, you name it, we can make it. People like that we do stuff in-house and we can actually make things here and that we're not contracting the work out to other places. We never say no. We always try to find a way to do it. If anybody can do it, we can do it. We are hardworking women, that is for sure. Come to Stanford Marketing in Florida for all your custom and promotional needs. Briscoe Surplus Sales on the northeast edge of Flora is your one-stop do-it-all shop. Looking for rugged boots and footwear from great brands like Lacrosse, Rocky, and Carolina? They're there. How about top-notch small engine parts and service? Briscoe Surplus Sales has it. Whether you're wiring your switches or switching your wiring, Briscoe Surplus Sales has the solution and the know-how to help you get the job done right the first time. Briscoe Surplus Sales, your one-stop do-it-all shop. If you're looking for a loan for your brand new home, call Clay County State Bank. If you want to transfer money so your future will look sunny, call Clay County State Bank. We got checking and savings and bill pay too. In online banking, just ask it for all your banking needs. We think you will agree. Clay County State Bank is the place you need to be. Clay County State Bank. It's the weekend and your symptoms are worsening. The morning of a big meeting and you have a bigger sore throat. Ever experience that urgency after picking up your sick child and your community health center has already closed? You will be able to connect to a provider at crhpc.org. Even if you have never been to CRHPC, you are welcome to utilize our services. Feel better after scheduling a video visit with CRHPC. 
At Clay City Banking Company, we're all on the same team, regardless of zip code. At home, work, school, or across the country, you can be part of our team with our cutting-edge mobile banking products. From your hand, you can check balances, transfer money, make deposits, and pay bills. Looking for a loan? We've got you covered with our mortgage, agriculture, commercial, and consumer loans. Join our team today. Play City, Floor, Louisville, and Fairfield Banking Companies. We're the hometown banks, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. Tomorrow, some fear the uncertainty it brings. Some trust the promise it holds. At Grinnell Mutual, we are always looking forward to tomorrow, growing and innovating. So even if the plans you have for the future aren't the same as the plans that the future holds for you, you can be ready. Because we'll be ready, like we have been for over 100 years. Trust in that. Trust in tomorrow. Talk to your mutual agent today. Your local agent is on the square. Louisville Clay County Farmers Mutual Insurance. For service beyond the surface, call Carter Trucking in Fairfield. Carter's trucks are ready to haul your big freight and grain. So whatever you call Jeremy Carter, the mucho mucho man, the driveway doctor, the gravel guru, the pothole pirate, the rock and redneck, the smooth operator, the mud hole master, or the happy hauler, just call him. 842-2022 to haul your big freight, grain, and more with trucks from Carter Trucking, Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Having car trouble, need a tow, or just some routine maintenance? Butcher Automotive in Louisville has you covered. Locally owned and operated, Butcher Automotive offers complete vehicle repair services along with tire sales and a wheel alignment. They're your local hand-cooked tire and interstate battery dealer. Butcher Automotive offers free local pickup and delivery so your car can be repaired while you're at work or at home. Butcher strives to treat everyone's vehicle as their own. At Butcher Automotive, they don't want you to give them your business. They want to earn it. For over 50 years, at your locally owned and operated Roll King Supply in Salem and Olney, we've helped you and your neighbors enjoy an easy country lifestyle. We carry the most thorough sporting goods department around with a huge variety of hunting and fishing gear, camping equipment, and a variety of firearms for any need. Our team is here to help you find whatever you need. Open every day, it's Roll King in Salem and Olney, your locally owned farm and home store. Fashion is our passion at Carnaby Square. We specialize in customer service and have since 1980. Our multi-generational boutique features your favorite on-trend to classic famous maker fashions, footwear, accessories, and a massive inventory at Brighton. So come, relax, explore, and elevate your look with us. Everyone is welcome where we always wrap it, tag it, and bag it for free at Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield. In 1916, Warren Miller chose Auto Owners Insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who have put their trust in us, and to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Harrison Insurance in Louisville is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Do you bowl like this? That's great. Do you bowl like this? That's great too. That's because whether you're a pro or you just want to have a lot of fun, at Peggle Silver Dollar Lanes, we have a lane for you. We have Galaxy Bowling, Gaming for Kids and Adults, Joe's Pizza, a full bar, darts, pool, and fresh and clean bowling shoes. Boy, does that smell nice. So come on down to Peggle Silver Dollar Lanes in Effingham, where we have a lane for you. Does your home show signs of foundation problems? Call the experts at Woods Basement Systems. Our power brace system can fix the problem permanently and help protect the value of your home. Call Woods Basement Systems today. Woods, the all things basementy experts. Mold, rank air, pests, all getting closer to inside your home. With a dirt crawl space, there's no telling what's below you. A sealed crawl space locks the nasty stuff out, plus can lower your utility bills. Woods, the all things basementy experts.
very pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the final night of the regular season here in Dietrich as uh, the Potoka Odin Warriors take on the Dietrich Moving Maroons in a non-conference matchup, a prep game, shall we say, for tomorrow afternoon's uh, round one of uh, the Class 1A Regionals. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, here on Wabash Catch TV. My name is Bruce Dickey, and this should be a pretty good, uh, fun ball game as it is a senior night here in Dietrich. They honored senior basketball players, cheerleaders, as well as uh, Bud Irvin, who is retiring from uh, public address announcing here in uh, Dietrich today. This is his final game. I think he said he's been uh, handling public address duties for over 30 years. So uh, congratulations to him as well as to the other seniors who were uh, who were appreciated tonight, honored tonight. Pete Britton honored tonight along with Garrett Nieberge, Cole Will, and uh, Dane Curry and Colton Kidd. The reason I bring that up, other, of course, to honor, other than, of course, to honor those seniors, two of those seniors unable to play tonight. Uh, Pete Britton has been out all basketball season with a uh, with a, uh, a an arm injury, wrist injury, as uh, he uh, uh, suffered late in the baseball season. He's been out all season long. However, Dane Curry, who has started numerous games this season for the Moving Maroons, is out. He's uh, limping around on an injured ankle, so he's unable to play tonight. He, uh, I was talking with uh, Coach Brent Bonoff, and he said, uh, you know. Dane's going to give it a shot, but we both looked at him out there on the court walking, and and uh, that's when uh, he told he said, uh, "Well, I better give you a starting lineup without Dane in it, just to be sure." And uh, th so that's what we have. We have a, a Dietrich of Moving Maroons going to send out Garrett Nieberge, one of the uh, seniors honored earlier this evening. Cole Will honored also earlier this evening, uh, and also Colton Kidd honored earlier this evening. Three seniors in the starting lineup along with Caleb Gephardt and uh, Luke Westendorf. Lucas Westendorf, a sophomore at six feet one inches tall. Dietrich probably still with a bit of a hide advantage uh, on uh, the uh, Potoka Odin Warriors. Potoka comes in with an eight and 20 record. If you're looking at max preps, to try to figure out what Odin Potoka is. And Potoka Odin, it's a, uh, it's kind of a mixture. A couple of uh, games are on there twice, but if you add the two together, you get pretty close to the total as uh, they are in at eight, uh, eight and 20. They like to get it going, get up and get going. They score 52 points a game, 52.2 points a game, which is actually the same that Dietrich scores. They both come in scoring around 52 points a game. The difference however, is that uh, Potoka Odin gives up about 64, 65 points a game, while uh, the Dietrich Moving Maroons give up around 48 or 49. Uh, one other difference going into tonight's contest, well, Dietrich's on a run. They have, uh, they have won five games in a row, including wins over Grayville, Woodlawn, uh, Warrensburg, Latham, Arthur, and uh, Martinsville at the Arthur win is a pretty uh, pretty good win. They could be hold their hat on that one, but uh, they come in on a nice little five game winning streak. Get a chance to get a six game winning streak tonight, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the kind of confidence that you like to have going into uh, the uh, postseason. As tomorrow, uh, let's see when is that game tomorrow? Tomorrow at 7 p.m. Dietrich will be in uh, North Clay taking on the Cardinals in the first round of uh, the uh, I Class 1A IHSA Regional. Talking to Coach Bonoff before the ball game, he says, look, they beat us twice in the regular season. They did the same thing last year, beat us twice in the regular season last year. We went into the regional, and uh, we knocked them off down there by 15 points. He says, I got to tell you, the, the kids on this team, they have seen it done. And they, we feel pretty good about going down into uh, Louisville tomorrow for the first round of the IHSA Regional. The, if uh, they win tomorrow, they would take on the winner of Sandoval and Effingham St. Anthony. The South Central Regional 
is just flat loaded, folks, uh, with uh, eight teams. But uh, of uh, the uh, subsectional of 16, this one includes the two seed, the three seed, the five seed, the six seed, the seven seed, the nine seed. The seeds much higher at the uh, South Central Regional than at the Nokomis Regional, which is the other half of the subsectional. And that is where Potoka is going. I was talking to Coach Joey Eddy before the ball game. Again, they are 8 and 20 on the season, and, and uh, they're taking on they're the uh, number 11 seed. They're heading to St. Elmo tomorrow at 6 p.m. Coach Eddie says, hey, Bruce, I feel like we've got a good, we got a great draw. We can uh, win that game against uh, St. Elmo, uh, Brownstown St. Elmo. That's certainly doable. And then they would take on the winner of Ramsey and Nokomis. Nokomis and Ramsey are neither one super great. So the, uh, the Potoka Warriors feel pretty good about it. We're going to have our national anthem and then the starting lineups. Here is our national anthem. The final strains of our national anthem performed by the Dietrich cheerleading squad. Seniors honored there earlier tonight, Morgan Esker, Callie Gephardt, Laura Lighty, and Brooklyn Wente. The seniors on the cheerleading squad, I, you know, usually you just have to be good at tumbling and yelling and stuff to be a cheerleader. But here at Dietrich, by golly, you better be able to sing as well. Olivia Brummer, Macy Donaldson, McKenna French, Adriana Gordon, Delaney Miller, Malia Shadel. Marley Michael, Sophia Niemer, Mallory Beerman, and Bailey Brummer, part of uh, the uh, cheerleaders singing squad. Again, uh, the Moon Maroons in it with a 17 and 12 record. The uh, Potoka Odin Warriors in at 8 and 20. They are uh, the uh, Warriors under head coach Joey Eddy will be wearing green uniforms tonight, dark green uniforms with the gold and a white numerals and trim patoka emblazoned across their chests and by the way a really nice deal also when they honored the uh, dietrich seniors tonight they also honored the patoka seniors i thought that was very cool logan haynes will get with a start he is a senior six feet tall wears number double zero he'll be uh, joined by lane arnold number five a junior and five feet ten inches tall Forward, one forward spot at six feet tall. Uh, number 12, a sophomore, Landon Robb. Uh, he'll be joined on the other block by senior Evan Meyer. Meyer wears number 13. And he is five feet, 10 inches tall. And rounding out the starting lineup, Owen Landreth, number 22, a junior, five feet, 10 inches tall. So the for the Warriors, it is senior, junior, sophomore, senior, junior. Six feet, 5'10", six feet, 5'10", and 5'10". That's how, why I'm telling you Dietrich will have a bit of a size advantage, and they're probably going to want to make sure that they do take advantage of their size tonight. By the way, they, in addition to honoring Potoka Warrior basketball seniors, they also honored the senior cheerleaders for the uh, Warriors, Madison Scarborough, Lexi Smith, and Hannes Smith. So uh, congratulations to those folks. Senior night twice for them. How about that? The Dietrich moving the maroons under head coach Brent Bonoff. 
believe this is his second year uh, now down here as time just flies. He will send out at one guard, number three, senior, 5'11 guard, uh, Garrett Nieberge. Garrett Nieberge in the uh, white uniform with uh, gold and maroon trim, maroon numerals, and maroons across the chest. Number 12 is senior Cole Will, 5 feet 8 inches tall. Number 15 is Luke Westendorf, 6 feet 1 inches tall, and a forward. He is a sophomore. Number 23, Caleb Gephardt at 6 feet 2. He is a junior. And the final starter, a senior, Colton Kidd, number 35, 6 feet 5 inches tall. The moving maroons, 5'11", 5'8". 6 1, 6 2, and 6 5. They'll have tonight senior, 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 junior, and sophomores starting for the Maroons. Again, the Maroons won the junior varsity contest 43 to 34 as uh, the last bucket, again, coming from Blake Niemerd. Pretty cool. They, uh, Blake is a. Wonderful kid, and uh, able to get a, a, a the final score of the contest for Dietrich. So we are just about ready to uh, go here. Officials Carl Repking, Jim Fisher, and I know the other guy, and I can't remember his name, so I, I feel bad. As Carl Repking heads into the center circle to throw the basketball into the air, it'll be Owen Landreth at 5'10", against Colton Kidd at 6'5", see if Landreth can maybe sneak one out of there. Uh, Landreth in green for Potoka. The tip won by Kidd in white for Dietrich. Nieberger will bring it across. Looks at a man-to-man -man employed by the Warriors. They look down to Kidd. He has the ball snatched away from him. Oh, Landreth will bring it across. Looks ahead to Haynes. Landreth now to the uh, right elbow. Jumper won't go. Rebound brought down by Westendorf. Lane Arnold giving him guff in backcourt. Westendorf pretty comfortable with the basketball wherever he is on the court. Three on the way for Will is good. Cole Will opens up the scoring for the Maroons. 7.15 to go here in the first quarter. Patoka Odin. They are on a, a streak of their own. They have uh, six losses in a row. As uh, Landreth loses the handle, ball comes loose, and it's plucked out of there by Lane Arnold. Three on the way from Haynes, no good. Rebound uh, brought down by Will. Gets it out to Gephardt. Looks like the, uh, the uh, Maroons want to uh, press their advantage a little bit, but the shot won't go. Haynes will bring it across, one of the seniors for the Warriors. Back out to Landreth around the horn to Haynes. Down low to Landon Robb. Into the elbow it goes. The high post to Lane Arnold. He traveled. Evan Meyer yet to get a touch on the offensive end. Here with 6.20 to go in the first quarter. Bounce pass down to Kid. He spins, puts it up and in. Five nothing. Quick jump here for the moving Maroons. Out on top on the dribble, Owen Landreth working against the man to man employed by Garrett Nieberge. Off to Logan Haynes. His pass stolen away by Nieberge. He heads to the hoop, lays it up, no good. But he'll head to the free throw line for a pair. Kind of timely, actually, if uh, he hits the, the first shot here or the second shot. All three senior starters will have gotten into the scoring book before the uh, two leading scores for the Marva Maroons. You look at their scoring totals on the year, Gephardt's averaging almost 15 a game, and Westendorf just a little over 15. So the two top scorers yet to score, but Dietrich, Seniors 
taking care of business. They lead 7 to nothing. Jumper for Landreth will be a bit short. Rebound comes down to Gephardt. Gephardt zips across the timeline. He's going to get bumped heading down the lane. That's going to go against Evan Meyer. And that is his first. By the way, Logan Haynes picked up the foul earlier there that sent Nieberge to the uh, free throw line. Three on the way from Gephardt, no good. Rebound tipped up and in. Cole will. And Dietrich off to a good start, leading 9 0. This may go uh, to, uh, this game might go to tell you a little bit about how tough the uh, National Trail Conference was this year. Midland Trails uh, Conference, of which Patoka Odin is a member, maybe a little bit down this season, other than Christ our Rock Lutheran. Speaking of loaded, they're like the number two team in the state. Except they got the number two seed in the postseason in their subsectional. Number two team in the state gets the number two, uh, two seed in the sub to Altamont. Jumper at the elbow, no good for Kid. Rebound, loose, picked up by Westendorf. Finds Kid underneath the up and in. And an 11 nothing lead will draw the timeout with 4.37 to go. Here in the first, we'll take it as well. Back after this word. It is all things new at Zimdar's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Appliance Repair. We have a new line of heating and cooling equipment and new technicians. Our new equipment line offers 24 months free financing and excellent warranty coverage. Our experienced service technicians can provide you with quality service and repairs on all brands of HVAC equipment. Zimdar's has been serving Clay County and the surrounding areas for over 23 years. The employees of Zimdar's are here to help, so call local and call Zimdar's. Hey, while we have a chance, I'd like to uh, thank the uh, Dietrich High School, well, for all their uh, hospitality all season long, that's for sure, but especially tonight as we had one of our uh, camera folks come up sick tonight, and and we have had a couple of uh, shooters from Dietrich High School stepping in as Logan Haynes fires a three that will not go. I'll get back to that here in just a minute, the rebound to uh, Dietrich. Westendorf makes a move to the hoop. Down the middle, shot won't go. Nice block. Getting a hand on that was Lane Arnold. Quick pass down to Haynes. Outside three on the way is off the iron from Evan Meyer. And uh, again, the uh, Warriors having difficulty finding the rim. To the hoop. The layup is good for Caleb Gephardt. He is fouled, and he'll head to the free throw line for the end one. Gephardt might have landed on somebody's foot. He had uh, kind of a, uh, he's uh, got a noticeable favoring uh, one leg over the other. Might have bumped a knee or something. Either way, it's 14-0. There's four minutes to go here in uh, this first quarter. Oh, what a steal out of the air. Lucas Westendorf takes it away from Haynes, heads to the hoop, and he is going to be fouled by Logan Haynes. That's number two on Haynes, number four against Potoka Odin. By the way, the last foul was also uh, that was against Evan Meyer. Steele heading to the hoop. Landreth has his shot blocked a little bit there by Gephardt. Westendorf cuts across the timeline. He's going to be fouled. That'll go against Lane Arnold. And all of a sudden... The uh, Warriors picking up a ton of fouls. They're already in a bit of a pickle. Down by 14, that's already a bit of a pickle. Three and a half to go here in the first quarter. Out on top, Will. Cole Will hands it to uh, Westendorf, Luke Westendorf. Outside again to Will for three, it won't go. Rebound into the corner, Haynes gathers it. For the Warriors. Warriors still looking for their first point of the game. Move Maroons have been on a 
real run as a steal by Cole Will. He heads to the hoop. Shot from the right side won't go, but he is fouled by Tyler Huffman. Huffman, the 5'10 sophomore, entered the game whenever uh, Meyer picked up his second foul. So to the line for two, heads Cole Will. Not too many games in action tonight as most teams have uh, shut it down to get ready for a postseason. There were some games last night, boys games, that you don't typically have. As Will hits them both, he's got seven. And it's a 16-0 lead for Dietrich. Three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Patoka desperately needs to make a shot. That shot blocked by Kidd. Picked up down under the hoop by Tyler Huffman. He'll get it back outside. Puts it up from 12 and hits. So the Warriors get on the board with 2.35 to go in the first quarter. Caleb Gephardt walks it across, takes a look into the lane, waits for a cutter, and he travels. He was wanting, I believe, a Colton Kidd to cut to the hoop, and Kidd went the other way, and uh, in doing so, kind of messed with Caleb Gephardt's passing motion. And part of that passing motion is taking a step, and that caused the travel. Landreth gets it back out to Jace Bodine into the game now, number 24. Pass inside is stolen away. Gephardt heads to the hoop, lays it up. No good, but he's fouled again. Gephardt will head to the free throw line, and all of a sudden, Dietrich's in the bonus. That's going to go against Owen Landreth. Gephardt one for one from the line so far here in this first quarter. That was team foul number seven. And that's already foul shot number seven as well. Dietrich six out of seven from the field, or from the free throw line, pardon me. They lead by 15, 17 to two. Down on the block, it goes to Huffman. Nice move around Kidd. He is fouled either by Kidd or by Gephardt. Actually fouled by both of them, but Kidd's going to pick up the foul. That'll be his first, team second. And the first shot is an air ball for Landon Robb. I said Huffman. I meant Robb. He goes 0 for 2. Rebound Gephardt for the Maroons. Quickly up to Westendorf. Westendorf inside the three-point line. Gets it back outside to Neberg. He heads to the hoop and scores. 19-2. to The Moon Maroons ferocious here in the first quarter as a traveling violation is being called on Landra. He thought that Colton Kidd might get a block, but they don't call that much in February. It is a a full contact sport this late in the season. This is about as late in the season as you'll find. Kidd drops it down to Westendorf. He has uh, the ball knocked away, and he's going to be grabbed. It's going to go against Lane Arnold. That'll be his second. Team foul number eight. And it'll be free throws for Westendorf. Luke Westendorf, the uh, only starter yet to score for the Maroons. That no longer is true. As the uh, Maroons take a 20-2 lead. 18-point lead is their largest, as is 19. And first quarter bonus, that's uh, unusual. Outside on the dribble, that's uh, 
Bodine. Off to the corner, shot up on the drive. It's good for Lane Arnold. So under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Nice move out on top by Gephardt. He loses the handle heading to the rim. He thought a Warrior touched it. It's going to be a turnover, and we'll give it to the Warriors. Patoka Odin, both schools about the same size in enrollment. In the mid-70s, so you're looking at about 150 kids total if you add them together. Heading to the uh, left corner, and a foul's going to go against Luke Westendorf as he bodied up against a Hoffman, or Huffman. Team foul number three, number one on Westendorf. Well, I said three, but... That's because that's what they, they had uh, two on the clock earlier, but they had to change the clock now. So I'm assuming that it, I'm going to go back to assuming that I was right and it's just two. Three on the way is good for Garrett Nieberger. He has seven points. What a first quarter for the moving Maroons. Patoka just unable to get much going. Jumper on the way from Huffman, no good. Rebound Landreth, the runner from eight is good. Owen Landreth with his first bucket. Across with it, Westendorf. Three at the buzzer. <laughs> it's good. Everything is coming up maroon. Here after one quarter, it's 27 to 6. Back after these. The insurance specialists have options to tailor to your needs at CSI Insurance Brokers. Experienced insurance brokers at CSI are skilled with all types of insurance plans and policies and represent many companies, including Safeco Insurance. You'll benefit from their detailed expertise, unbeatable premiums, and commitment to customer service. CSI Insurance Brokers and Safeco Insurance Company, providing affordable rates on quality insurance since 1952. What a first quarter for the moving Maroons. They lead Patoka here at the uh, quarter break, 27-6. to six. Garrett Nieberge out there along with Cole Will, Caleb Gephardt, Luke Westendorf, and Colton Kidd. Starters remain in for the Maroons. It is Owen Landreth with the basketball for Patoka along with Caden Williams, Lane Arnold, Logan Haynes, and... Evan Meyer back into the game. Pass intended for Meyer. Gets tipped away by Kidd and stolen by Westendorf. He sprints to the uh, other end and has his shot blocked before it even got out of his hand. Nicely done. Gets almost gets another steal. It'll remain Patoka basketball. Seven and a half minutes to go here in the first half as uh, first subs come in for Dietrich. Tanner Will, number 13, and Jackson Funneman, number 5. Haynes fires it out, and it's stolen away by Cole Will. Ball goes out of bounds. He touched it. It will be Patoka basketball. Will knocked it free, just could not track it down. As Caden Williams fires it across to Logan Haynes to the hoop. Drops it back to Lane Arnold. His runner will not go. Gets his own rebound. Drops it down. Nice pass into Evan Meyer. Meyer has it ripped away, however, by Will. Taken right back by Arnold. The runner is no good. He's fouled. And Lane Arnold will head to the free throw line for a couple. That one goes against Colton Kidd. It'll be his second, team third. And heading to the line for the first time this evening, Lane Arnold. 
Arnold. A junior hits the first of two. He now has three points to lead the Warriors. Right-hander after three dribbles goes one for two. And an offensive rebound for the Warriors. Outside with it, Williams looking for Landreth. Landreth cuts to the uh, elbow, and it's knocked away, but picked up by his teammate, Lane Arnold. Landreth in traffic from about 17. It's no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. It will remain Maroons basketball. Minute 20 gone here in this second quarter. Dietrich yet to score. Probably uh, still bushed from the 27-point first quarter. Tanner Will and Cole Will over on the right side. Cole has it now. Fires for three. That's good. Second three-pointer of the night. Cole Will has 10 points for the Maroons. To the high post, Landreth will take a 15-foot jumper. And he hits. Owen Landreth, second field goal of the night. Cuts the 23-point lead down to 21. Drop pass inside, intended for Funneman, gets away. And last touch by Jackson Funneman. It will go back over to the Potoka Warriors. Potoka Odin Warriors. I believe that... uh, Particular co-op situation started maybe three or four years ago. Maybe not quite that long ago. Around the top, Lane Arnold to Landreth. Landreth down in the corner. 12-footer is good. Owen Landreth heating up. He's got six. Five and a half to go in this first half. Down to Funneman. He spins, misses the shot. Rebound gathered by Luke Winnie. He gets it back out to Funneman, and around the horn it goes. They will reset, and a uh, break here as Witte goes down. And he might have uh, been taking a shot to the head. He is uh, holding his eyes. He comes off. Gephardt and Westendorf will check back in as Will and Winnie take a seat. Looks like we're going to have the Dietrich dance team uh, go here at halftime. So, note to the truck, Abby Springmeyer, dancers are coming. Pass out to Westendorf. Westendorf toward the hoop. He hits the six-footer. Luke now with seven points. And it's a 32-11 to 11 lead for Dietrich. Jumper from Landreth, again, no good. As the Maroons bring it across. Over into the corner. Nieberg, he thought about it. Now steps in. Fires from 15. No good. Rebound uh, taken away uh, by uh, Caden Williams. And he's going to be fouled by Garrett Nieberg. That's his first team fourth. As I was saying, oh, uh, I'll, I'll get to it when I return, I guess. It's time out. Back after this word. We like technology at Flora Savings Bank. Here's what you can accomplish in our mobile banking app in less than 30 seconds. See account balances in your transactions. Set up an account alert. Make a transfer between accounts. Get an alert text message about your transfer. Pay a bill. Turn your debit card off and then back on. It all happens in the palm of your hand with our free My Bank To Go app. Search My Bank To Go in the App Store or Google Play and give mobile banking a try. Flora Savings Bank. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hey, again, thanks very much to the Dietrich uh, Athletic folks as they uh, let us, Traven Holman, to help shoot the junior varsity contest and Dominic Ashley shooting the varsity contest here for us. Thanks very much for to the Dietrich folks as uh, we couldn't be more pleased with their helpful help tonight. Ty Landreth also on a camera. Oh, as Landreth had one go three quarters of the way in and then jump out. He can't believe it. 32 to 11, the lead is 21, and that one's short for Will. Tanner Will's shot is short, and he's uh, limping around a little bit now also. He's got his knee wrapped in uh, one of those uh, muscle holder things. 
And he is holding his uh, knee. That's uh, Tanner Will, number 13 for Dietrich. Still in the game, 4.05 to go here in the first half. Haynes gets it ahead to Arnold. Arnold's jumper will not go. Rebound comes down to Nieberge. Then the ball is kicked away from him out of bounds. That's a nice little karate uh, kick there by Lane Arnold, 5'10 junior. 32 to 11. Dietrich leads. They've led all the way. Scored the first 14 points of the game. Jumper from the corner is no good. Rebound uh, picked up by Nieberge. He'll take it from 14. No good. Tip. Westendorf, no good. Rebound to Haynes. Quickly to Landreth. Has it ripped away by Tanner Will. Taken right back by Haynes to Landreth. Jumper on the way just a bit short. Rebound comes down to Nieberge. Up to Westendorf. 3.15 to go in the half. The runner is no good, but Haynes is going to send him to the free throw line. Logan Haynes has three fouls now. Has Luke Westendorf ahead of the line for two shots. He's two for two. 3.15, 3.16 to go. Here in the first half. Boy, the uh, moving Maroons shooting free throws well. Shooting the ball well from the field and defending well. They're going to be a uh, tough customer down at North Clay tomorrow. And actually for Dietrich, North Clay will probably be a pretty tough customer as well. Going to be a fun night. 34 to 11. The lead is 23 again. And there's a foul against Dietrich. It's going to go against Tanner Will. His first team foul number five. Three minutes, five seconds to go here in the first half. Owen Landreth will walk it across for the Warriors. Off to the right side, Evan Meyer, cross court to Landreth, knocked away by Tanner Will. Tanner Will with uh, good long arms there, even though he's only 5'11". So in it comes to Tyler Huffman. Huffman is a sophomore, 5'10", to the high post, Landreth. Landreth to the hoop, and Colton Kidd just picked up his third. Team foul number six. And Landreth will head to the free throw line for the first time this evening. He's 5'10", junior. Has yet to uh, go to the line. Now one for one. Next week, folks, we will have uh, regional action for you as we are going to bring you games 5, 6, and 7 from the South Central Regional. Two on Wednesday. And one on Friday night, the championship game, no matter who's in it. That ought to be fun. I'll, uh, we'll go over some of those uh, matchups here at halftime. Gephardt a little bit too deep behind the hoop, misses the shot. Rebound Patoka up to Landreth. He's going to get bumped, and that's going to go against Cole Will. Team foul number seven, so heading back to the free throw line, Owen Landreth. They're going to give him uh, two shots? No, just one and one. As that was team foul number seven. Maroons led 27 to 6 after the first quarter. A tremendously high scoring quarter. Westendorf has it stolen away by Huffman. Huffman tries the uh, right baseline, and that's going to be a foul on Gephardt. So the Maroons. Scoring, slowing down immensely here in this uh, second quarter. As Huffman misses the first of the one and one. Quickly back across with it come the Maroons. Will. Looks inside to a, a Funneman. Back out to Gephardt. Three points for Caleb Gephardt. 
second field goal of the night for Caleb. On the drive, a jumper up, no good from Huffman. Quickly ahead, Gephardt lays it up and in. It's like Caleb uh, Gephardt heard me talking about how many points they uh, are behind here in this second quarter from the first quarter. Outside with it, Lane Arnold heads to the hole, shot up, no good. Rebound, knocked out of bounds. It will remain Dietrich basketball, leading by 26, 39-13. Some of the recent scores for Patoka. Uh, they lost to Weber the other night, 71-37, to as that shot bounces off. Lost to Ramsey for, in a tight one, 46-43, and then before that to North Clay by over 30, 79-44. Runner will not go for uh, Lincoln Roberts, but the tip-up is good for Lane Arnold. Down low, shot up, and uh, no good from Funneman. I gave that score to the wrong person, I think. As that one is knocked out of bounds, he's going to call a foul. That will go against Dietrich. And heading to the line with 24 seconds. Oh, pardon me, against Patoka. It goes against. Well, I don't have a 23 for Patoka. Uh, Make that 12. Landon Robb. First free throw is no good from Cole Will. It's a super bonus, by the way. And he hits the second. So with 24 seconds to go here in the first half, 25-point lead for Dietrich into the corner. Tyler Huffman thought about it, gets it back out to Landreth. Landreth from about 17 is good. Landers now with 10 of their 17. Three-pointer near the buzzer is no good for Tanner Will, and that will do it for the first half of play. But an outstanding first half for the Moving Maroons. They will take into the locker room with them a 40-17 to 17 lead as uh, we'll keep it right here. Keep it right here as uh, the uh, Dietrich Dance Squad getting uh, ready to enter the court, and we'll uh, see what the show is tonight. So here, in just a moment, is the Deep Trick Dance Squad. We have PA problems. Now it's working. The Dietrich Maroonettes. Please enjoy.
gentlemen, the Maroonettes. We'll be back with halftime statistics and plenty more for you after these words. Clay County Hospital is your life-saving connection. We have spent our lives preparing for when you need us. Quality professional care right at home. Our team will support you and your family so you never feel alone. We will make you feel welcome whether you need care, are visiting a loved one, or seeking employment. Clay County Hospital. Professional care. Compassionate hearts. Going beyond the expected. It's what they do at Pekin Insurance, and it's been their way of doing business since 1921. It's service that goes the extra mile, and product that provides the flexibility to meet all of today's insurance needs, and tomorrow's as well. Stop by and see the agents at North Wayne Insurance Agency in downtown Flora and Sisney. They will provide the financial protection and peace of mind that you need and deserve. North Wayne Insurance in Pekin, beyond the expected. Why are more people heating their homes with FS Propane? Because it's better to work with a company that lives and works in the same community that you do. This is Aaron Cummins, your local Clay County FS Propane Specialist with South Central FS. South Central is a nine-county cooperative with highly trained employees that are dedicated to providing our residential, commercial, and agricultural customers a safe and reliable propane supply. Contact your local South Central FS Propane Specialist or visit us online at southcentralfs.com. Doors, paint, windows, electrical, plumbing, and much more. Oh yeah, give me all your guns too. John Lucas. What? You better be dreaming about all the stuff we sell here at Zinc Building Center. Oh, I would. Zinc Building Center in Louisville on Route 45. It's a cool place. At your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville, you can count on experts to have the solutions to keep you running on the road or in the field. More than just your car, the Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville carry a large inventory of Napa products for farms, heavy trucks, and just about everything that moves. Experienced associates understand your needs and are ready to help with the perfect part at a great value. That's Napa Know How at your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville. My name is Robin Stanford. I own Stanford Marketing. It's a promotional products business along with an embroidery business. And we do custom hats, t-shirts, anything, you name it, we can make it. People like that we do stuff in-house and we can actually make things here and that we're not contracting the work out to other places. We never say no. We always try to find a way to do it. If anybody can do it, we can do it. We are hardworking women, that is for sure. Come to Stanford Marketing in Florida for all your custom and promotional needs. Briscoe Surplus Sales on the northeast edge of Flora is your one-stop do-it-all shop. Looking for rugged boots and footwear from great brands like Lacrosse, Rocky, and Carolina? They're there. How about top-notch small engine parts and service? Briscoe Surplus Sales has it. Whether you're wiring your switches or switching your wiring, Briscoe Surplus Sales has the solution and the know-how to help you get the job done right the first time. Briscoe Surplus Sales, your one-stop do-it-all shop. If you're looking for a loan for your brand new home, call Clay County State Bank. If you want to transfer money so your future will look sunny, call Clay County State Bank. We got checking and savings and bill pay too. In online banking, just ask a fee. For all your banking needs, we think you will agree. Clay County State Bank is the place you need to be. Clay County State Bank. It's the weekend and your symptoms are worsening. The morning of a big meeting and you have a bigger sore throat. Ever experience that urgency after picking up your sick child and your community health center has already closed? You will be able to connect to a provider at crhpc.org. Even if you have never been to CRHPC, you are welcome to utilize our services. Feel better after scheduling a video visit with CRHPC. At Clay City Banking Company, we're all on the same team, regardless of zip code. 
at home, work, school, or across the country, you can be part of our team with our cutting edge mobile banking products. From your hand, you can check balances, transfer money, make deposits, and pay bills. Looking for a loan? We've got you covered with our mortgage, agriculture, commercial, and consumer loans. Join our team today. Play City, Floor, Louisville, and Fairfield Banking Companies. We're the hometown banks, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. Welcome back here to uh, Dietrich High School, the home of the Moving Maroons. I was sitting there watching the uh, halftime shooting competition. That's a lot of fun. The uh, cheerleaders uh, charge the kids a buck, see if they can't hit a shot from the half line. Most of them don't, but they're having a lot of fun here on senior night here in Dietrich. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the scoring real quick, and then we'll also give you a little rundown about the uh, regionals coming up, uh, the, specifically the South Central Regional. For Potoka, they're led here at the half by Owen Landreth. He has 10 points. As he has four field goals, two out of three from the line. Uh, three points for Lane Arnold, one out of two from the line with a field goal. Four points for Tyler Huffman as he's 0 for 1 from the line. In total, Potoka Odin, 3 for 8 from the free throw line. They had quarters of 7 points and 11 points. For uh, Dietrich, led here at the half by Cole Will, the senior, has 11 points on a couple of three-pointers and a deuce, as well as 3 out of 4 from the free throw line. Nine apiece for Luke Westendorf and Caleb Gephardt, as uh, Westendorf, 4 out of 4 from the line with a 3 and a deuce. Gephardt, 2 for 3 from the line with a deuce and a uh, couple of deuces and a 3. Seven points for Garrett Nieberg. He's got a three and a deuce. Also two for two from the line. And four points for Colton Kidd. Colton Kidd, the only uh, move maroon with foul issues. He has three. Nobody else with multiple fouls. And for Potoka Odin, Logan Haynes has three fouls. Uh, Lane Arnold with two. Evan Meyer with two fouls. Now, next week, the uh, South Central Regional, well, it actually starts tomorrow at home at the home school's of uh, four of the combatants. Uh, Red Hill will be at Christ Our Rock Lutheran tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. At 6 p.m. tomorrow night, it is Sisney at, for, uh, at South Central. And then at uh, 6 p.m. also, Sandoval travels to St. Anthony. And then on uh, uh, at 7 p.m., these Dietrich Moving Maroons will be in uh, Louisville taking on the North Clay Cardinals. Now, the winners of those four games tomorrow will face off against each other on Wednesday evening starting at 6 p.m. We'll be in South Central for both of those games on uh, Wednesday night. And uh, if the seeds bear out, it would be Christ Our Rock versus South Central, Effingham St. Anthony versus North Clay. However, it's postseason. It's regional time. Seeds, you just never know. And the Dietrich folks, of course, hope that the seeds do not bear out. Nevertheless, whoever wins on Wednesday night, be it Christ Our Rock, be it uh, St. Anthony, North Clay, South Central, Sisney, Dietrich, whoever, we're going to be bringing you the championship game on Friday night. So, ready to start the second half here, but just getting you lined up for next week. And uh, we'll uh, see who we're going to get find out tomorrow who's going to be playing. The Maroons get the basketball to start things off as Caleb Gephardt fires a three that is no good. Cole Will will follow with a three that is no good. The ball is tipped out of bounds. It will remain Maroons basketball. Colton Kidd, Luke Westendorf, and Garrett Nieberge join the aforementioned Cole Will and Caleb Gephardt. How about a three for Luke Westendorf? The crowd shouts Luke, and now he becomes the leading score for the Maroons. For the uh, green-clad Potoka Warriors, and there's a steal by Nieberger. He heads down the court, lays it up, and in. He now has nine. Logan Haynes on the court along with Lane Arnold, Owen Landreth, Landon Robb, and Evan Meyer. Robb with it, puts it up from 12. No good. Rebound uh, brought down by Kidd. Bunches is up to Westendorf. On the run. Off glass. No good. Rebound uh, grabbed by Lane Arnold for 
Patoka. Landreth heads to the hoop. He gets uh, bumped a little bit. And I think Garrett Nieberge is going to pick up a cheap second foul. He does so. First foul this half against the moving Maroons. They lead by 28 here early in the third quarter. This ball game with all the earmarks of a running clock in the fourth quarter. As uh, Dietrich pretty close to a 30-point lead. If they have one in the fourth quarter, that is a, a running clock situation. Both free throws missed by Landreth. Shot up, no good from Will. Quick pass ahead to Landreth. Oh, nice reverse layup for the junior from Patoka Odin. Westendorf thought about chucking the three again, did not do so. Gebhardt across, long pass to Westendorf. He'll move in from about 10, it's no good. Rebound to Patoka. 6-10 to go here in the third. And a steal by Gebhardt. He heads to the hoop and jams it home. And a, now I'm trying to see what the stoppage in play is for. Gephardt with the dunk. They're not calling a technical foul. Unless they're calling it against Joey Eddy. Or did they call a technical? They sure did. All right, Gephardt gets the two. That counts, picks up the technical. Well, down is his second foul. Team foul number two. Owen Landreth will head to the free throw line for two shots, and then it'll be Patoka basketball. A little bit of holding on the rim, I guess, there for Gephardt. I kind of just thought he was trying to keep from being injured, but I'm farther away. Landreth makes them both. It's 47 to 21. To the high post, it goes to Rob and uh, knocked away, stolen by the moving maroons. That's that's a good that's a good call though. Uh, safety first, that's for sure. Pass down to Kid. Kid lays it up and in, and he's fouled. Colton Kid will head to the free throw line for the and one, as that goes against Lane Arnold. That'll be the first team foul this half. A third foul, however, on Arnold. Kid's first trip to the free throw line is a successful one. So with five and a half minutes to go in the third, Dietrich well up and a steal out by Tanner Will. Drops it across for Garrett Nieberg. He misses the shot, but he gets fouled in the process by Logan Haynes. Haynes picks up his fourth, and it will send Garrett Nieberg to the free throw line where he is two for two. Two for three. Patoka again will take on Brownstown St. Elmo tomorrow night. As Garrett Nieberge hits the second. I guess St. Elmo Brownstown on boys' side. Brownstown St. Elmo on the girls. And another steal by the Maroons. Will to the hoop. Cole Will lays it up and in. Timeout on the court taken by the Warriors. We'll take it also back after these words. Tomorrow, some fear the uncertainty it brings. Some trust the promise it holds. At Grinnell Mutual, we are always looking forward to tomorrow, growing and innovating. So even if the plans you have for the future aren't the same as the plans that the future holds for you, you can be ready. Because we'll be ready, like we have been for over 100 years. Trust in that. 
trust in tomorrow. Talk to your mutual agent today. Your local agent is on the square. Louisville, Clay County, Farmers Mutual Insurance. For service beyond the surface, call Carter Trucking in Fairfield. Carter's trucks are ready to haul your big freight and grain. So whatever you call Jeremy Carter, the mucho mucho man, the driveway doctor, the gravel guru, the pothole pirate, the rock and redneck, the smooth operator, the mud hole master, or the happy hauler, just call him. 842-2022 to haul your big freight, grain, and more with trucks from Carter Trucking. Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Joey Eddy taking that timeout. He wants to uh, liven his defense up a little bit as they were uh, playing a little bit. Oh, kind of the old kind of style where you let them, the Toreador, where you let them go past and then hack them or something. As Logan Haynes is going to pick up a quick turnover. Traveling violation right in front of his team bench. Coach Eddy has been at Patoka for many, many years. Does a great job. Some years are easier than others. As Westendorf will take a seat. With five minutes to go here in the third. Might see a lot of that here in a little bit with Coach Bonoff for Dietrich trying to save up some players for tomorrow night. Nice steal and pass ahead to Owen Landreth, who now has 16, leading the way for the, the Warriors and a near steal for Tyler Huffman, but he stepped out of bounds trying to turn. 4.40 to go here in the third. Cole Will will fire it across to his brother Tanner. Tanner tries to get it down to Colton Kidd, and it's stolen away. Quickly up ahead to Landreth. Turns to the hoop. Reverse layup won't go this time. Rebound uh, comes down to Andrew Hall. That's a freshman into the game for the Maroons. Number 21, Hall, is uh, six feet tall and a freshman. Colton Kidd finds his way to the hoop, hits the bunny. And back up by 32 go the Maroons. Senior night here. It's been a lot of fun. And the Maroons are the ones having a lot more fun than the uh, Warriors as pass across to Landreth gets picked off clean by Tanner Will. Three on the way from Cole. Will will not go. Rebound lost out of bounds. It will it'll go to Patoka. John Holsty, I thought was going to go into the game. He went to the scorer's bench, but now he heads back and sits down. He has yet to play tonight. 3.40 to go here in the third. Into the corner. Landreth backs up for three. Off the iron. No good. Rebound gathered by Hall. Up to Garrett Nieberge. Ahead to Tanner Will. Drops it down for Kidd. Too deep. A three on the way from Cole. Will is well long. Rebound uh, brought down by Patoka. Landreth heads to the hoop. Has it knocked free by Tanner Will. But that will be his second foul. Team foul number three. One, two, three. That uh, Gephardt technical did count as a team foul as well as a personal foul for uh, Gephardt. And he is on the bench as Landreth misses the first of two. Now Gephardt and Westendorf will check back in as Hall and Tanner will sit down. Landreth from the free throw line, four for seven. Five for, check that, five for nine. Now, one, two, three, four misses. Nine Shots taken. Cuts the lead to 20, 31. Pass intended for Kidd. Gets stolen away by Lane Arnold. He heads to the hoop. Misses the shot. Tip up and in. Nice drive and follow by Landon Robb. Gets onto the score book. Kidd thought about the uh, jumper at the free throw line. 
And Will will fire a part of Garrett Neberge. Bangs a three home from the right wing. Second three of the night for Neberge. He has 13. Both he and Cole Will with 13 here on their senior nights. Rob gets it back in to Bodine. Jace Bodine. Nice pass from Huffman down to Arnold, but he misses the bunny. Patoka with the rebound. Jumper, running jumper, no good from Tyler Huffman. And another offensive rebound for the Warriors. Landreth will try from 12, and he hits it. Oh, and Landreth having a fine game. I have him with 19 following that one. The jumper from Kidd is good. Yeah, for some reason, the scoreboard gave that last field goal for Patoka to a different player. Huffman drives to the hoop and misses the shot. The rebound to the to Westendorf, and he has it stolen right back by Tyler Huffman. Huffman, a sophomore just like Luke Westendorf. Uh, down low, shot put up no good from Landon Robb. He, however, is fouled. And he'll head to the free throw line for a pair. Colton Kidd picks up his fourth. Kidd had three fouls in the first half. And a slew of players substitutes for each team just about to head in. Rob with a couple of points. Does not add to his total there. Andrew Hall checks back into the game along with uh, John Holstey. Holstey, a uh, 6'4 junior. Long rebound picked up by Hall. So Caleb Gephardt will zip across the uh, timeline into the corner to Funneman. Back out, it goes to Luke Winnie. Three from the corner. Hall is good. Andrew Hall joining in on the fun. And it's a 35-point lead for the moving Maroons. Long pass to Landreth. He loves that spot, and he hits it again. 21 for Owen Landreth. Out of their 30. Is that right? I think that's right. That is right. As the uh, moving Maroons lose the handle. It will go back to Patoka. And before we get out of here, I'd be remiss uh, to uh, not acknowledge the uh, nice, uh, the help given to us by custodial service here, Jay, as well as the athletic director, Donetta Onasorge. She does just an outstanding job, and I know I've uh, butchered her name. I've known her for five years, and I've butchered her name every time. I'm the worst. That ball gets knocked out of bounds. It will remain Patoka basketball with 26 seconds to go. As Braden Meyer checks into the game for the Warriors, number 32. Pass comes in to uh, Hayden Cole, who heads to the hoop and lays it up and in. Tanner will back in the game for the Maroons. And they're 13 seconds away from her fourth quarter running clock. Nice hands by Funneman. Jumper will not go. And uh, that will do it for three quarters. After three, it is Dietrich 63, 20, uh, 32 for Patoka. Back after these. Having car trouble, need a tow, or just some routine maintenance? Butcher Automotive in Louisville has you covered. Locally owned and operated, Butcher Automotive offers complete vehicle repair services along with tire sales and wheel alignment. They're your local hand-cooked tire and interstate battery dealer. Butcher Automotive offers free local pickup and delivery so your car can be repaired while you're at work or at home. Butcher strives to treat everyone's vehicle as their own. At Butcher Automotive, they don't want you to give them your business. They want to earn it. 
For over 50 years at your locally owned and operated Roll King Supply in Salem and Olney, we've helped you and your neighbors enjoy an easy country lifestyle. We carry the most thorough sporting goods department around with a huge variety of hunting and fishing gear, camping equipment, and a variety of firearms for any need. Our team is here to help you find whatever you need. Open every day, it's Roll King in Salem and Olney, your locally owned farm and home store. Sixty-three to thirty-two as we enter the fourth quarter. It'll be a running clock once it gets going. Only stopping for timeouts and uh, officials' timeouts and injuries and such. As we're about eight or nine minutes away, probably from this game ending here. A uh, pleasant senior night if you're a Det if you're a Dietrich fan. Patoka wondering what happened. It all happened in that first quarter. They got outscored 27-6. They're behind the eight ball for the rest of the way. John Holstey up and in. Everybody getting on the board tonight for the moving Maroons. A near steal. Ball gets into backcourt. And it will remain Patoka basketball. Jackson Funneman yet to score. Luke Winty yet to score for the Maroons. And a traveling violation is going to be called against Tyler Huffman. Boy, he did a nice job catching that pass and bringing it down. But in doing so and trying to stay in bounds, he was uh, jumping up and down on one foot. And you can't do that. So the Maroons, leading by 33, will bring it across. Will into the corner to Hall, back outside to Will. That's Tanner, They're gathered by Luke Winty. Maroons going to burn a little clock. They've got their uh, starters on the bench. They'll probably not play anymore, I would think, as uh, the decision all but. All done here except the final score. Holsty with it, gets it back out to Will. Hall will try that uh, three again from the right wing that will not go this time. Lincoln Roberts, just a freshman in the basketball game. He's number four for Patoka. They get it down low to uh, Braden Meyer. His pass... Back outside is knocked away into backcourt. Hall has it, and it's knocked away from Hall. So it'll be a Dietrich basketball on their own side of the court. As Coach Bonoff will clear the bench even further. By the way, Dietrich shooting 13 for 16 from the free throw line right now. That is is some solid free throw shooting. Into the corner it goes to Cole Will. Will staying in the game. They're putting the seniors back in. His kid comes back in as well. Going to uh, put the seniors back in and probably bring them off one at a time. I've already got their score set up here in the uh, book. Coach Bonoff. Across it goes to Lincoln Roberts. For Patoka. Outside now Caden Williams. Logan Haynes. Haynes holds over his head against the zone. Jackson Holstey in the game now for the Maroons, and he gets a, grabs the rebound, the 6'6 junior. Holstey with it, under four minutes to go. Will, Will for three, and he hits again.
And I've already had to scrape out a number one time here. I'll have to do it again. That shot put up, no good. Rebound, and back into the corner. Three on the way, off the iron for Roberts. Tip up, no good. Will comes out with the rebound. Coach Bonoff says, slow down. Kid will try a three. It's good. He has 14. As all five starters for Dietrich in double digits tonight. Haynes down to Williams, and that shot blocked out of there. As Patoka clears their bench, and the Coach Bonoff heads down to his bench. Let's see who he's going to put in here in a minute. Haynes takes a seat. And it comes to Roberts. Three from the corner is a long from Reed Jordan. And quick pass up to Nieberger. He lays it up and in. And he's got 15 on the evening. And another steal. Will to the hoop. Lays it up. Will's going to finish with 18 on the game as they're going to bring him out. The fans giving the seniors a big old standing ovation as they are removed from the game for the final time at home. Outside with it, Lincoln Roberts. Patoka trying to get their first shot to make here in the fourth quarter. That one no good from Jace Bodine. Three again from Bodine, short again. Rebound that comes down to the Maroons. And they will walk it across. Again, next week we'll be in action at about uh, 6 o'clock on Wednesday. There's a steal from Reed Jordan. And that's knocked away by Evan, by, pardon me, by Tanner Will. Dietrich is going to improve to 18 and 12 on the season. And had to take a six-game winning streak into North Clay tomorrow night. Three from Jace Bodine. And the Warriors will fall to 8-21. And, and they will uh, head into uh, St. Elmo Brownstown tomorrow with an 8-21 and 21 record. That is just about going to do it tonight. What a win on senior night. A packed house here on senior night in Dietrich as the moving Maroons knock off the Potoka Odin Warriors 75-35. to uh, Let's take a look at the uh, scoring for the uh, evening. First for the Patoka Odin the Warriors led here tonight by Owen Landreth. He went. Uh, he had 21 points on the evening. He had uh, seven, six, eight, eight uh, field goals, two point field goals, and five for nine from the free throw line. Next was Tyler Huffman. He had four points, 0 for one from the line. A, a four, couple of field by hiccups. Pardon me. A couple of field goals. Lane Arnold finished with three points. He was one for two from the line, uh, along with a uh, deuce. And uh, two points for Landon Robb, 0 for 4 from the free throw line. 
and two points for Hayden Cole as he hit a bucket late in that uh, third quarter. Uh, the uh, uh, Patoka Odin Warriors with uh, sc- well, score quarter scores of 7 11. Nice third quarter, 15 and 3 in the fourth quarter. They did finish the game 6 for 16 from the free throw line. For Dietrich, put five players in double digits. Boy, you don't see that very often. Led by Cole Will. He finishes with 18 points, three out of four from the line. He had three three pointers and uh, three deuces uh, as part of one, two, three. Yeah, that's right. Three and three. He, uh, again, three for four from the line for his 18. 15 for Garrett Nieberge on his senior night as well. Three threes, two deuces, three out of four from the line. 14 for Colton Kidd on his senior night. So all three seniors playing tonight uh, were able to uh, get into double digits and led the team in scoring. So that's cool. Uh, One out of one from the line. He hit a three along with five two-point field goals. 12 points for Luke Westendorf. A couple of threes and a deuce. Four for four from the free throw line. And 11 points for Caleb Gephardt. Three field goals of two-point variety. And uh, one three, one out, or two out of three from the free throw line. From the line for the evening, the uh, Maroons finished with uh, 13 out of 16. Oh, and I don't want to miss. Also scoring, Andrew Hall hit a, a three-pointer in the third quarter. And uh, John Holsty got a bucket back in the uh, fourth quarter as well. As, again, the moving Maroons uh, improve and finish the regular season with a record of 18 and 12. The Patoka Odin Warriors finish the season with a record of 8 and 21. Both go into regional play tomorrow evening. Again, a reminder, we'll be in South Central on Wednesday night for two games. Our coverage will start uh, around 5 or 10 minutes till 6 o'clock. Until then, for all of us at Wabash Catch TV, thank you so much for watching uh, basketball all season long, however you're watching it on YouTube, on Facebook Live, or on the uh, streaming, on the uh, cable, however you're watching it. We do appreciate it. And uh, for Abby Springmeyer, Ty Landreth, and tonight Dominic Ashley and Traven Holman, my name is Bruce Dickey reminding you, tonight's final score, Dietrich knocks off Patoka Odin, 75-35. So long from Dietrich High School.